So I'm working on the throat chakra symbol today. This is um, quite an interesting one. I'd say this is probably my favorite looking symbol. Well, I don't know. The crown chakra looks pretty cool, doesn't it? With a thousand petals. Second best. Second best looking symbol from the chakra series. When I'm drawing a mandala, what I like to do is draw it as a meditation. So I like to draw in silence. In this case, with the throat chakra, a good way to balance your chakra, especially if you feel like you speak too much and you don't listen enough, is to just practice being silent and practice listening. Using it for meditation, being silent, listening to everything around you. When I say listening, I'm not saying like listen intently to a podcast or anything i'm saying like just be in silence and listen to everything that's happening around you i try and make sure that most of my time is spent close to nature so i'll be listening to the nature obviously i know that's not always possible if you're in the city i don't know listen to the sounds of the city you know even though they're not natural sounds they're still sounds that are happening in your environment so yeah just the point is just be silent and listen so what do we know about the throat chakra symbol the symbol has 16 petals and it's blue and in the middle we got a triangle with a circle in the center of it and that's pretty much all there is to the actual symbol so what does the throat chakra do well so i'm not an expert on the chakras but i am interested in them and i was doing a bit of research into them and so the throat chakra is all about communication like i was just saying it's about being honest speaking your truth expressing yourself expressing your creativity which makes sense really because it's in your throat on a physical level it influences like the health of your throat and also just the areas around there so your teeth your mouth thyroid what is a thyroid i don't even know what a thyroid is i know a lot of people have problems with the thyroid don't they hmm never actually stopped to think what a thyroid is anyway so the throat chakra is also responsible for learning creativity honesty speaking your truth and a lot of trust i think if somebody has an open or a healthy throat chakra then you'll be able to trust them or maybe you'll be more trusting in people if you have a healthy throat chakra but that can get you in trouble sometimes i've had that problem when i put too much trust in people done that a few times to be fair but somehow i've always come away unscathed i remember one time we were in uh, antigua i think we were in antigua it's like a caribbean island and you know i was 15 or 16 at the time i was on a cruise with my mate's parents and my mate obviously and we wanted to buy some weed you know we were like oh yeah we're in the caribbean let's buy some weed and so it didn't take us long to find a guy who wanted to sell us weed so like this big rasta dude he only had one leg he was he didn't even have a crutch he uh just had a stick and he was just hopping along and yeah he offered to sell us some weed and he said we just had to follow him to his uh to his hideout we're like okay sounds good and then we're walking down the street with him and like there's no tourists down the street like it's just like totally back street of antigua and as we're walking down the street everybody like over the road from us is just shouting don't go with him he's a bad man and all this stuff and we're like hmm, he seems all right to me seems like a nice fella and eventually we got to this um this shack it was like you know it was like full-on shanty it was just um loads of pieces of like corrugated tin just leaning up against each other to form like some kind of building <laughs> it didn't have like any real walls or anything uh, it was just all made out of tin <laughs> and it was like behind this chain link fence and there was like a hole in the chain link fence and yeah peg leg pete started going through this gap in the fence and i still had so much trust in this whole thing is just like yeah I, d I don't see any problem with this like it the thought never even popped into my head that maybe this was a sketchy situation and as i was going through the fence behind him my mate cal just grabbed my backpack and like pulled me back out of the fence and he was like man i ain't going in there i was like why not man seems all right and in the end we did just bail we just ran away and we bought some weed from a guy with uh four thumbs but it was terrible it was terrible weed and then peg leg pete caught up with us later on we were like somewhere else and he's like you should be paying me for wasting me time he was so mad ah oh, man good times so anyway yeah that's just an example of um how having too much trust can get you in trouble sometimes i wonder if peg leg pete was being honest that day or whether he was planning on ripping us off what else do we know about the throat chakra 
So with chakras, you can have overstimulated or understimulated chakras. And if this one is overstimulated, then you're probably going to have an excessively loud voice, Mr. Shouty, and be very opinionated and um, try and force your own perspective on other people. You'll basically be a really annoying, obnoxious person. And if it's understimulated, then you'll put the need of others before yourself and just neglect yourself, basically, not take care of yourself. Good thing about this chakra is it influences the power to um, like manifest things that you visualize through affirmations. So basically, the things that you say, whether good or bad, can become reality. You know, and the throat chakra is responsible for that. This is why this is why you should never talk negative about yourself or others or situations. I always just try and look at the positive in absolutely everything and just never imagine the worst because either way you're imagining it, right? Everything around you is an imagination. The way that you see everything, it's up to you how you want to see it. You know, you can see good and bad in everything. It's just what you choose to see. You can say bad, you can say good. It's what you choose to say. So always be positive, always say good things and the throat chakra will help you manifest those things into reality. And the throat chakra is also responsible for not only expressing your creativity, but communicating your ideas. So not just, not just through speaking, not just through effectively wording things it's how you express yourself and communicate your ideas through art and song obviously because the throat chakra is where your singing voice comes from this affects your singing as well but if it's um if it's unhealthy then you'll probably be at a loss of words feel like you've got a lump in your throat might get a sore throat just basically have issues with your whole mouth in general, your tongue, your lips, everything. Also like around your neck and your shoulders. And basically just be anxious and nervous because because the throat chakra the throat chakra is where the chakras start getting mental. Okay? Because you know everything everything below the throat chakra is more about the emotional body. You know, it's all like um, things that are more um, instinctive and involuntary whereas above the heart chakra you're going into the mental side of things you know this is all stuff that's going on in your mind and it is all stuff that you can definitely have control over if you actually put the effort into taking control of it so yeah that's everything i learned about the throat chakra like i say i'm not an expert on the chakras but i'm very fascinated in them and i can tell you that since I started researching the chakras and since I started practicing um, balancing my chakras, I've been doing it for a couple of months now and the benefits are noticeable. It's hard to explain exactly, like precisely what things have changed in me, but I have noticed that I just feel more balanced. Definitely got more energy, a lot more energy, more focus, more clarity. Um, I still have a little bit of work to do so far I'm up to the throat chakra and I've been doing meditations on each chakra and um, yeah, just trying to put everything into practice that I'm learning. And yeah, so we're going into the mental part of it, but so far, so good. All right, so that's about it. If you want to watch me draw this in real time, head over to my Patreon page and sign up over there or click the join button underneath this video and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra.